Daniel. He just had this ways creeping under your skin and making you feel safe and at home. so beautiful to find someone that you're just so at ease with. <laughs> he had the ability to appreciate the tiniest of things. I remember we went on a hike one time and, uh, and there was a purple aster growing out of the crack of these two sandstone rocks. He pulled his phone out, he crouched down and took a picture of it. Who appreciates those? a smallest of things. We went out on a hike and I always like to point out the clouds, what they look like. And uh, a couple days after that, he sent me this incredibly beautiful poem. And to me, I'm always looking at the clouds because they make me think of him. That is my activity of remembrance. Raymond was, as I always call him, my gentle giant. Very popular in school, lots of friends. He was a great big brother. He was just a great kid. He was my best friend. Raymond brought home an eight-week-old Rottweiler. He had been begging me for months to get a dog. I would dispute with him and tell him we didn't need any animals right now to be taken care of. But he brought him home one day wrapped in a towel and begged me to keep him. Needless to say, now Draco, is his name, is four years old. I look at Draco as a part of him that was left One day he could have been a father, he could have been a husband, he could have been a grandfather, I could have been a grandmother. And those things have been stripped away now. Just the future that he had, just to be here living, living here on earth, that just was taken away from him. Eric was the only person that I had out here when my husband deployed. He was my partner in crime, so to speak. Derek was my bartender for my first ever date with a woman. I had gone up to him and I went, you see the girl I'm with, I'm gonna date you. Do you think she likes me? Because I don't know, you have to ask her. I'm like, thanks, real helpful, love you. And we've been, we were good friends ever since. Me and Derek were gonna go poor. <laughs> uh, we were always going to a concert. Our last concert together was Panic at the Disco. I lost my Panic hoodie that night and I was able to work with other victims of mass shootings and they were actually able to find that hoodie and get me another one. And that may seem insignificant for some, but that was a portion of healing for me. Because I wanted nothing but that hoodie. Because that was my world. That was the last thing I did with Derek. I mean, I wish I had a lifetime with them. Um, I just hold on to the memories that I have. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.